yesterday for the Boston Bruins, and we see the trades right here. We've been talking about them. Carl Soderbergh's with Colorado now. Dougie Hamilton's a Calgary Flame, and we, Bob we, Ivan Lucic is with the King. Dougie Hamilton gone. Lucic gone. All these draft picks. Now a string of three in a row here. Um, they're going to be looking for offensive guys. They're going to be looking for defensemen that can move a puck and score. They're going to be looking for goal-scoring wingers that can put the puck in the net. So, if I told you the Boston Bruins would make a move and then acquire three consecutive picks right in a row right here, Pierre, would you have expected that they would still have all three of these picks at this point? Or do you think they would have been looking to move? I think they've probably been looking to move, but they haven't been able to. I'm surprised that they have all these three picks right here. I hope they just stay on the stage and they don't have to do the floor. <laughs> but at the same time, you, That's right. you know, they get an opportunity to draft three players that they're looking to impact their team in the future. I'm sweet. I'd like to say hi to our fans back in Boston at TD Garden at Legends and uh, appreciate their support. With the 13th pick, Boston is proud to select Jacob Zabarwo from the St. John Sea Dogs. So, Jacob Zabarro. They can tell you in his very first Quebec Major Junior Hockey League game, he dropped the gloves and one punched an opponent. He's proud to select with a 14th pick. I'm going to boo again. With, from Swift Current Broncos, Jake DeBrusque. Well, through the boos, <laughs> the guy you just mentioned. DeBrusque is the pick, Bob. We had Jake DeBrusque as a late first round pick, number 28. The 15th pick, 30 picks here in this first round. Let's take a look. Best available, Craig, who would you go with? For me, it's Cal Connor. I think he's got elite skill. He's a winger. He can score. He can make plays. He's got a real ease to his game. Cal Connor is just a, a really good offensive hockey player, and, and I agree with what both Craig and Pierre said about him. But I, I'm, I'm interested to see what's going to happen to Matthew Barzell here from the Seattle Thunderbirds. A really good center, but unbelievably gifted in terms of elite-level skill and speed. His edge work with his skates are terrific. Somebody wants to maybe trade up into one of these spots to go after a guy like Matthew Barzell or Kyle Connor. There'll be some teams there that see that guy, see those guys still on the board and say, let's see if Boston will give up a pick or if Edmonton will give up a pick and move up to get one of those guys. Well, two players, I'm going to, Travis Konecki, they'd love him. You talk about a Boston Bruin type player, Travis Konecki is that. Boston. With the 15th pick, the Bruins select Zachary Seneshin from the Sioux Greyhounds. Oh boy, Bruins go off the board a little bit here. Zachary Sinitian from the Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds. Now we had him at number, where is it, 40? Number 40. This is definitely off the board for Zach Sinitian. Scored 26 goals in the OHL this year in a very limited role where he played off and especially after the trade deadline, he was basically a third or fourth line hockey player. This is definitely an off the board pick for a player that we'll see if he can put up the offensive numbers that a lot of the guys that didn't get taken here, like Kyle Connor and others. But, but the bottom line for me is there's better players than him available. And it's, if you believe in a player, go for it. But you, that's a time when you can trade back and you can find a way to get more and still get the guy you want. Better players for me in this draft. Yeah, if you're frustrated as a Bruins fan because of all the trades, what are you thinking of this pick right now? Uh, I think there were better players available at this number right now in the draft. You look at these moves as a whole, and obviously you're building for the future. Do you like these moves right now for the Boston Bruins? Well, I was really puzzled about what was going on, Liam, and, and, and when they were making the moves. But at the same time, you think back, 2011 Stanley Cup champion. 2013, they were Stanley Cup finalists. 2014, President's Trophy winners and now all of a sudden you think okay they're dismantling their team it, it, to me it's very puzzling because it seems like an overreaction to one you know subpar year well you can see the fans weighing into the bottom of the screen they don't particularly like this deal right now for the Boston Bruins either but you do have to wonder about guys like Bergeron right now guys who are built to win in the here and now and now they have to deal with this Quite a busy day for you. You ended up with three successive picks here in the first round. That's the first time in modern day draft history that that's happened. Did you try to move any of them at any point? Yeah, we've had a lot of discussions uh, throughout the last couple of days, Catherine, to be honest with you. We we looked at every different angle and, and tried to climb up a little bit higher, uh, but we felt very comfortable with the players that, that we wanted to select, and, uh, and we feel good. The Boston Bruins over the past yesterday and today, they made three different deals, and then they selected three straight picks in this draft. So these are the new faces of the Boston Bruin. You have Jacob Zaporo, you have Jake DeBrusk, and Zach Sanishin. Clock counting down right now. Edmonton is on the clock. 
They had the number one overall pick. They had three picks in those first 33 picks. We wondered, possibly Edmonton Oilers making a move. Commissioner Gary Bettman at the podium. We have a trade. Edmonton trades picks number 16 and 33 in the 2015 NHL draft to the New York Islanders in exchange for Griffin Reinhardt. Okay, so the Edmonton Oilers, they keep that first pick, of course, Connor McDavid, but here they make a move. Peter Shirelli, he makes a deal with the Islanders. Griffin Reinhardt is probably ready. All right, so let's bring it over to the Islanders' perspective here. So they make this deal, and now they're up to 16. How do you, what do you think about this from the Islanders? I got to think they take the best available player. Matthew Barzell, Seattle Thunderbird Center. A physically immature guy that's got high-end playmaking ability, a pure playmaking elite skill level center. The New York Islanders are proud to select from the Seattle Thunderbirds, Matthew Barzell. Well, you mentioned depth at that particular position. Depth at center, Matthew Barzell is the pick. He's a guy who had 57 points in 44 games now with the Islanders. Winnipeg Jets are proud to select from the USHL, Youngstown, Kyle Connor. We've been talking about best available. Bob will start here. But he's a really gifted goal scorer. I mean, he ripped up the United States Hockey League this year, and he's one of the top finesse players in this draft. He's the player of the year in the USHL, and it's a mature league, and that says a lot about him. Going to University of Michigan, I think Craig is a great thing for him. Yeah, I, I, I think he's an outstanding player. I, I think he's got top-line winger written all over him. You had him rated very high. You had him all the way up at number six. What were these teams missing out <laughs> Well, I mean... The Ottawa Senators are proud to select the Senators d'Ottawa sont fiers de choisir from the St. John Sea Dogs, Thomas Chabot. Vancouver select from Waterloo of the USHL, Brock Besser. We have a trade alert. It's happening right now behind us. Philadelphia Flyers, they are now on the clock. They get the 24th overall pick. The Maple Leafs, they give that up to get the 29th overall pick. Travis Konechny is right there in the mix. The pick is in, and we will hear the Flyers' selection right now. Philadelphia selects from Ottawa, the Ontario Hockey League, Travis Konechny. Well, they're so, going to love him in Philadelphia, I'll tell you that. Winnipeg selects from the USA Hockey's National Team Development Program, Jack Roslovic. New York Islanders have the 28th pick in the 2015 NHL Draft. So the New York Islanders, they had zero first-round picks. They pulled a couple of moves. Now two first-round picks. The Islanders de New York sont fiers de repêcher. The Islanders are proud to select from Shawinigan, Anthony Beauvillier. Connor McDavid, the number one overall pick. Jack Eichel, the number two pick. But the team that is stealing the headlines, the Boston Bruins. A big day and night of weird. 